Welcome back to America Needs Fatima's series on the angels. While their abilities are extraordinary, even more sublime is their mission. Come with me as I explore the mysteries surrounding God's most faithful ministers, the admirable creatures we call the angels. In today's episode, we continue the true story of a young woman, C.C. Coney, later Sister Maria Antonia, who saw and heard her guardian angel from childhood until the age of 30. As Cece grew older, her guardian angel played a crucial role in helping her navigate some of her most formative years. He guided her towards modesty and proper behavior, even in the face of worldly temptations. Cece remembers that, if I didn't feel a great love and respect for the holy presence of my good friend, I think I would have developed very ugly habits and bad manners. At about eight years old, I began to dress by myself. Until then, Acacia had always helped me. Sometimes, as I put on my stockings, for example, I was not careful of my dress or my position. Immediately, I would feel so strongly that my angel was not very happy that I would correct myself. This happened many, many times. Some days, when I was playing at games, I would sense his beautiful face looking at me sternly. Immediately, I would correct my manners or not-so-modest positions. I never resisted his admonitions in this regards. He helped me train my rebellious nature. He wanted me to be a lady. In all of this encouragement of virtue, Cece's guardian angel was preparing her for her first communion. Cece's guardian angel knew just how much the graces of Cece was going to receive from the Mass would help her. The graces from the Mass would act like spiritual armor, protecting his little charge from the attacks of the devil and making her devotion to our Lord even stronger. We should all learn a lesson from Cece's guardian angel and put on this spiritual armor by attending the Catholic Mass ourselves. Unfortunately, the reality is that some of us are unable to attend Mass as often as we would like. This is why America Needs Fatimas partner with a local Catholic priest who offers a full Catholic Mass every day for anyone who joins our Child of Mary program. If you are unable to attend Mass in person as often as you would like, but want the graces a daily Mass brings, consider joining our Child of Mary group. One of the gifts you will receive as a child of Mary is having a daily Mass prayed for you and any intentions you send us. As soon as you sign up to become a child of Mary, you will receive a subscription to Crusade Magazine, a beautiful metal lapel pen featuring the image of the pilgrim statue of Our Lady, and most importantly, your name and intentions will be sent immediately to Father Jerry, who will offer a full Catholic Mass for you every morning, 365 days a year. Click the link in the description below to sign up today. Okay, back to Cece and her guardian angel. Cece desperately wanted to receive Jesus in Holy Communion, but Mother Raphaela, her teacher, believed she was not ready. Cece recalled, If Mother Raphaela only knew how much I suffered, every night I buried my face in my pillow, so no one would hear me and cry bitterly. My new friend was the only one who shared my secret. He was always awake and never sleepy. So after I finished crying, I would sit up in bed and tell him of my sorrow and beg him to talk to Mother Raphaela. I knew she would listen to him. One night, as I sat complaining to my guardian angel, the thought suddenly came to me. Ah! I have forgotten to ask Jesus, Holy Mother. Sister Irene calls her our Mother in Heaven. I must ask my good Mother in Heaven to command Mother Raphaela to let me receive her Jesus. And although Cece's prayer was not answered immediately, she waited and prayed until she was given the much-desired honor of receiving our Lord in the Holy Eucharist. And she remembered the day her prayers were answered. She later wrote about her meeting with Mother Raphaela. Posting myself in the passageway with my heart beating so hard that I didn't know how I was going to say a word, I waited. 
my angel was there with me and I knew he would help me. When Mother Raffaella came, I didn't even have to speak. Looking at me kindly, she said, I know what Cece wants. If your father lets you receive, I will too. Oh, the joy I felt. I knew I would receive the good Jesus now because Daddy would be easy to convince. Next day, Akasi and I boarded a boat to cross the river to the lady who sold flowers. There, I handed her my eight cruzeros, and, in exchange, she gave me a bunch of glorious white roses. Before wrapping them, she said, If you put other flowers of other colors in those, they will be very beautiful. No, I said, I want only white roses. That's because I had promised Our Lady white roses. After buying the flowers, Acacia took me to the church where Father Domingos, our pastor, arranged them in a glass vase and placed them in front of the altar of Our Lady. I felt immensely happy. That night, I sat up to talk to my guardian angel, this time not to complain, but to ask him if Our Lady and he himself had liked the bouquet of white roses. How beautiful that in her moment of longing and desperation, C.C.'s guardian angel inspired her to turn to Our Lady. This act of seeking heavenly intercession reflects a core tenet of Catholicism, the belief in the intercessory power of saints, angels, and especially the Blessed Virgin Mary. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and return for the next one as I discover and share more incredible angelic stories about the life of of C.C. Coney. We want your soul to receive as many graces as possible. Consider joining our special Child of Mary group. We have a full Catholic Mass prayed every day for each and every one of our children of Mary. Click your screen now to have a daily Mass prayed in your name.